and Excalibur's other companies, lots and lots of, we cover the whole spectrum of what we call medical science. So you see wellness there on the left, and we've got specialty pharmaceutical diagnostics formulations, uh, pharmaceutical services, uh, and all sorts of things. Uh, we've built funds. Uh, this is one of our third fund with 10 companies covering that entire spectrum. Diversity of investment is important for Qatar, very important. You must not just specialize in cancer or in diabetes or in obesity. You must cover the whole waterfront in terms of, of training and educating scientists and uh, getting their skills honed, building companies, making money. Is an example of one of these companies, Lab 21, built a few years ago. Solary generating very good multi-million dollars of sales. Uh, the red line shows its profit margin is going up as well as, as its revenue line. And it's got about 80 and 90 new diagnostic products. Uh, this company's in town. It's already developing products and it's working with some Qatari hospitals and, and indeed selling them diagnostic kits. Uh, and they're around if everyone wants to meet them later. This company, Pyramid, two cancer molecules, kinase inhibitors, Roche, one of the biggest uh, drug companies in the world, very keen on cancer. They decided that uh, these two early stage molecules were two of the best they'd ever seen in this particular category. And they gave us $185 million cash in, in July of this year uh, to buy the whole business, take it away, which we sold. I was sad to see them go. It's like selling you little children just before they've got, oh, got mustaches or beards, but they had to go. Uh, we took the cash and uh, they've gone to a better life uh, in Roche, who are very excited about taking them forward. And uh, we were fascinated we did that. <laughs> Progression of our third fund is, is increasing in value all of the time. Uh, and this is fantastic to have in this miserable credit crunch market around, particularly in Britain and Europe, where we sort of chastise ourselves and are always getting pressed of everything all the time. Uh, and it's nice to have a fund that's producing profit. Uh, and that previous deal, $185 million cash, was gladly received by my investors. They made eight times their money in July. And of course, in August, the whole world came to an end in, in uh, Europe and America where anything went wrong. These are all the investors from all over the world in, in my funds. These are other investors from all over the world who invest in my companies uh, as co-investors. Uh, the way with the ways we minimize the risk in Excalibur is although we, we've done a lot of things in the red and green boxes in the early stage, uh, we now are very, we are very good specialists at taking products and technologies and businesses further along and turning them around very quickly and, and, and building them into real commercial enterprises on science parks uh, from, from very little indeed uh, to build real businesses. This is what drives me on. Most people say, what you keep doing this for? You've done all these things, blah, 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 uh, is building billion dollar companies. The first three or four things there, uh, going from a million to a hundred million, uh, I, I've done that a lot of times. So have my, my, my people and my colleagues, very successful. Uh, but it, the UK and Europe has not successfully built $1 billion or $10 billion companies at all. Uh, and that's what I really strive to do. And I think that's what Qatar should also strive to do, not just build a myriad of small little companies, but go for some of the big ones and build them. Uh, and it can be done. The Americans have done it very, very well. Uh, to do that, you need to follow these sorts of nine steps to build companies successfully. Top class management, if you don't have that in place or you don't know where to get them, you've had it before you start. The products must be very viable. Uh, you want real market knowledge to know where these things are going. You need to build a good, strong pipeline of products uh, and diversity within the company. You want sound intellectual property and patents. You want to focus on unmet needs. You want to be doing what everybody else is doing. You need to f carve out your own niche. You need a convincing business model so that investors in the rest of the world can see why you're doing it in that particular way. Uh, realistic valuation on the business, in our language, is preferably cheap. Uh, and partnership potential and an exit. Uh, and if you get those things right in, in Qatar, you can make a lot of money. Getting scientists is crucial. If you get a Dumbo scientist, then it's all over before you start, right? So you've got to get good people like uh, Sir Martin. You then got to get your entrepreneurs, I'm afraid, because <laughs> as good as Sir Martin is and another scientist, you do need these entrepreneurs. Uh, guys do know what they're doing. They've done the homework. They've spotted the niche. They know the marketplace. They know how to wheel and deal and get the money in and drive things forward. And you've got to get money. Thankfully, Qatar's got some money. So I think that's the least of your problems is getting the entrepreneurs uh, in place in Qatar is going to be crucial. I think you could attract the scientists. Building laboratories, that's not a problem. Uh, you guys can do that. Delivering the product from the laboratories is a problem. It's one of the biggest problems where people talk and talk and talk and talk, but they don't actually know how to deliver the products at the end of the day that the market needs, that the clinic, clinical trials need to see, uh, that the investors want to see as well. To do that, you've got to have the management team, uh, put the management team in place. That's one of the hardest things. Stock markets are going down as we speak now. This is the worst time in the history of the world for biomedicine all over the world in terms of valuation, stock markets, investing. This is the greatest opportunity Qatar will ever see. In my, I think in, in, in my lifetime, 
for actually buying and luring uh, technology science and prospects for Qatar. It's a fantastic opportunity for getting extremely valuable assets very cheaply. <coughs> uh, there's a huge resurgence going to come in medical science in the next three years. Uh, it hasn't started yet. It won't start till the middle of next year. Um, so get your skates on and get in there. I think the future looks fantastic for medical science from a scientific perspective, from a commercial perspective, from a market perspective. It's all there to get. Um, people like ourselves, I won't bore you with all this, because of our contacts, our networks, our partner, and all the rest of it, and all the things we've done, we can, of course, accelerate uh, how things get done. And just to summarize, and I'll get off, my five minutes have gone, uh, we have created the seven and a half billion of value uh, in the UK, three and a half thousand employees, 10,000 local dependents from nothing, 250 million uh, income to the suppliers to these companies, hundreds of millions of cash are recycled to venture capitalists and to other people with PLC gains, thousands of shareholders all investing and buy-in. There's over 30,000 pa patients today in trials with our products. Uh, we've done over 4,000 national press articles of biotech, etc. cetera. Uh, millions of people's lives have been impacted already right across the UK. Uh, so I think it's quite a major contribution from a bunch of people. You know, and we're, not a, we're not a city, we're not a town, we're not a country, uh, we're just Excalibur. Uh, interestingly, if you look at the size of our dynamic and you compare to the whole of Cambridge's cluster, or Oxford, Paris, Frankfurt, Scotland, London, Barcelona, Milan, even Singapore, and we've actually built more in biomedicine, more value uh, than those clusters. Uh, and last but not least, uh, I've been extremely privileged, because I talk a lot, uh, to have got round in the last 21 years. Uh, and had lunch and had dinner with, with Queen Elizabeth and been able to explain what biomedicine is about and where it's going in her country, as well as Prince Philip and a whole range uh, from Margaret Thatcher. Uh, I will tell you over, over some coffee later on if anyone's interested about my lunch with Margaret Thatcher that was hysterical. Uh, Michael Hesselstein, right through Tony Blair uh, to Gordon Brown. I've, been, I've sat on task forces, committees, I've advised them, consulted and all this sort of stuff. And I would be delighted, and I am delighted to help Qatar. I have a lot of respect for Tidu Mani. Uh, and I hope I can bring a lot of things uh, to bear. This was the Cambridge Science Park when I started. This is the Cambridge Science Park in England, the greatest biomedical cluster in the world. 21 years later, greenfield, muddy site. Now it's populated with over 300 companies, uh, over four billion pounds worth of biomedical value there. Uh, I built the first seven companies there, then I got bored and I moved on, and lots of other things sort of carried on there. Uh, and that's it in a nutshell. I, I haven't got time to do anything else. I uh, hope that was useful, and I really look forward to coming to Qatar.